Okay, welcome back. So now we're going to take these three elements as promised uh, and go into the main uh, .java file. Um, and the first thing we need to do is uh, create a reference variable, um, just like we did for edit views, text views, all that stuff. Um, the type we're using, or the class, is autocomplete text view, and we're going to name it set symbol auto. And very similar to what we've done with all of our UI elements, um, because it's going to get inflated when we make this call set content view. So we need to connect them uh, together uh, with something. Um, and our reference variable. So let's do that here. And we'll do it up here. So what do we call it? Set symbol auto is equal to, and we're going to cast it as an autocomplete uh, text view. And we're going to find view by ID like we always do and let's go to our friend R dot ID and where's set symbol where we create it set symbol uh, auto there it is all right there we go and it's probably gonna give me an error uh, it'll, it may give you an error because um, I've already put this in one time, um, it will probably cause you to uh, import uh, autocomplete text view probably up here. You just import the package just like we do with everyone else. Okay, so now that that's connected, um, some of the elements uh, for the, the autocomplete text view, we need a, a string array. Do that by the brackets indicate that it's going to be array. We're going to call that symbols. And in order to connect that array um, to the big array that we uh, built in strings.xml, use the get resources method. And we're going to get a string array. And we're going to just drill down into it just like we would do a UI element, except uh, this is an array. And we have that symbol array. If you're wondering uh, and forgotten you know, where we created symbol array, we did that in strings. So right there, symbol array, that's what we're referencing right there. Okay, so we have got um, set symbol auto. We've got uh, symbols tied to an array. Now we need what's called an array adapter. And you're going to see something strange here. Um, these, uh, I don't know, what do you call them, carrots? Anyway, what this is saying is for the array adapter, um, the array, array adapter is going to return what's going to be in the array adapter is a string. We could have, you know, we could put whatever we wanted, but in this case, we know in the strings.xml file, uh, it's going to be a string, that, that array is going to be a string. And we're going to use the variable name uh, adapter equals new array adapter and this is going to require a context and so we're just going to use this um, which refers to main and then we need to point to uh, what uh, what we created as far as the list item. So, um, you know, what is that gonna, what is that gonna look like? So, 
that will be under layout dot and uh, symbol list item and we're going to pass symbols is the actual array this field here or this variable here um, we're going to pass it symbols and again symbol list item is the uh, XML uh, layout file that we created and we need to import this I bet yep okay we're almost done and then we'll look how all this kind of fits together uh, next we're gonna take our set symbol auto and we're gonna set the adapter as you guessed it what we created right up here adapter I'm going to pass it adapter and then the threshold is so we set the threshold for the uh, the autocomplete text view so that it happens immediately uh, when someone first starts uh, typing uh, in there so I'm going to set it to zero okay that looks like a lot of gobbledygook but if we go through it here you know it makes sense so you've got to you got to create just like a text view you got to create a variable um, and which we did up here then we need to find uh, or tie together the UI element um, to that to that reference variable and since this is going to be an array we got to create the array which we did here and then we've got to apply an adapter to set symbol to the autocomplete text view and we tell it hey this adapter is is going to be uh, is going to return a bunch of strings um, and here's what it's going to look like it's going to look like symbol list item and then we combine uh, those two things together by saying okay here's the text the autocomplete text view and we're gonna set the adapter which we've set up here and then we set the threshold I hope that makes sense for some reason it makes sense to me you know probably make uh, more sense if we just go in uh, and take a look at what we've done so far and actually look at the code so let's do that now And don't con be confused by um, these two uh, input uh, UI components. We're going to get rid of this top one. This is the one that actually has the autocomplete. So if I put in like a G, and we've got an error. I wanted that error to happen. I had seen it before. Um, it was because in my brilliance, when I decided to move this element from the bottom to the top uh, the end tag right there um, should have clued me in that this wasn't blue so to fix that you just delete it and put the end tag right there alright save it and go back in to our program And now I want to put in a G. It's going to pop up, or a V. Um, it's going to pop up a list. Again, this isn't connected to our web service call. Um, so what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to separate the symbol from the company name. We're going to do that in the next video and then pass it to our web service. So see you in the next video, and we'll do that.